TGX, a simple acronym that represents an entire community. And the interesting thing about it, on a technicality, none of the letters in the acronym stand for anything. The TG in TGX originally stood for Teenagers Gaming, a reference to the origins of the TGX community rooted in the r slash teenagers subreddit. But in the most recent iteration of the TGX community, TG Forever, the TG stands for nothing. And the X on the end is nothing more than a variable, a character that can mean anything. Like the F in TG Forever, the N in Team Gaming Nights, or nothing in the case of TG. But in this case, it could also stand for E as an Earth, representing the TG Earth server launched during the heyday of TG Survival 1.16 on November 21st, 2020. Designed as a response to controversy surrounding PvP toggle and the more violent urges of the TG community, TG Earth is by far one of the most different and unique official TGX servers launched in its history. And in this video, you will know its story. Welcome to the history of TGX. For our first episode, we will be covering TG Earth. For three months, the official r slash teenagers Minecraft server was known as Teenagers Gaming 1.16 or TG 1.16 for short. TG 1.16 was the successor to TG 1.15, which in turn was the successor to TGN, but the stories for all of them are for a later date. To keep it short, TG 1.16, like its predecessors, was a survival Minecraft server. The server only had a couple plugins for things like tree feller or slash spawn and slash home, but besides that, the server was completely vanilla. TG also had a very controversial feature implemented that had been in place since TG 1.15, called PvP Toggle. PvP Toggle was a feature where every single player had the option of being able to take or deal player damage, or not. All new players started with this enabled, unable to take damage, but could turn it off anytime they wanted. In theory, this would allow the people who wanted to fight the ability to fight, and those who didn't want to fight were kept out of it, and there would be a healthy split between both. However, this was not the case, as almost everyone had PvP toggle enabled. The number of people who had it disabled was only in the dozens compared to the hundreds of people who had it enabled. This made many of those who had it disabled angry, as although they wanted to fight, there was very few people they could attack. This agitated many, as they wanted to be able to engage in PvP without hunting for someone, with whoever they find likely being stacked full of armor, making them a difficult opponent. Many in the community were also upset with the type of server TG was, with the community leaning more towards a town-based server where everyone lived in peace. There was also some demand by many to have a factions-based server, where all groups would be in competition with one another. Fortunately for them, the TG Minecraft team had a response. Around September 2020, the TG Minecraft team would begin releasing images of a new Minecraft server that was going to be released soon, showing images of volcanoes, mountains, and rockets. Unfortunately, all records of these images have been lost due to Vilhu, community director of r slash teenagers, deleting the Discord channels they were posted in. After weeks of posting these images, finally, the TG Minecraft team would reveal some information about this new server. On October 3rd, 2020, the new server, dubbed TG Earth, was announced. It would be a PvP factions-based server with a map that is a 1 to 1000 scale of the Earth. The server would be run on 1.12, could be played on any version above it, and had 1.8 PvP. There was no nether or end, but resources from each dimension would be available in volcanoes for the nether, and the moon for the end, the moon being accessible via a rocket in Florida, Kazakhstan, or through a portal in Svalbard or Antarctica. The server had a job system where players could work to earn money, which they could spend on the auction house where players would sell items, or save up enough to found a faction, which they could expand with money. Factions could create warps that would allow them to teleport wherever they wanted across the world, as long as they owned the chunk, and could also ally or go to war against other factions. And of course, PvP toggle would not exist on the server. Everyone could be killed. Immediately, there was a massive hype across the TG community for this new server. People began forming factions and claiming parts of the world weeks before the server even launched. Some of these factions would include the Superiority Faction, the Soviet Republic of Texas, the Illinois Empire, Brazil, the Roman Empire, the Kalmar Union, the Kingdom of Missouri, French Kentucky, the Island Federation, dozens and dozens of factions that ranged from several members to only one. These factions forming and land calling lasted for days up until the day of the server's launch. Finally, the day would come, and on November 21st, TG Earth would launch to the public. 
with the announcement also being posted to r slash teenagers, bringing in hundreds of more people to the server. Immediately, the hub world that connected both TG Survival and TG Earth lagged severely, and barely anyone was able to get into the server, with those who were, or often kicked. However, after the initial hype died down and the server began to stabilize, the first few factions were founded. Within hours, the first few factions began to rise, most of which being pre-existing communities founded by TG Survival members, rather than from new players from r slash teenagers. The main four were the Soviet Republic of Texas, founded near Houston, Texas, Illinois, founded near Central Illinois, the Kalmar Union, located on the island of Svalbard, and the Superiority Faction, which was created in Istanbul, Turkey. The next day also saw the founding of Brazil, founded in Neopolis, Sergipe. Back to the server's launch on November 21st, however, also saw the founding of World Police, a faction not formed by members of TG Survival or members of r slash teenagers, but members of a completely different Minecraft Earth server, SMP Earth. This group did have a main base on TG Earth, like every other faction had, located in Hokkaido, Japan. But World Police differed from the rest, as they also had several small bases located outside every other large faction base, used for the sole purpose of raiding the opposing bases they are stationed next to, a popular strategy used on SMP Earth. World Police was able to use the Dynamap to find any locations on the map inhabited by players and would grief it. Within days, World Police had complete control over the server, hunting both new players who had just joined to bombarding heavily fortified bases run by the largest groups. World Police had TG Earth in an iron fist, and was not keen on letting go. However, it was discovered that many, if not most of the members of World Police had been hacking, using cheats that would enable them to walk on water among others. Shortly after this was discovered, on November 23rd, 2020, most of World Police had been banned from the server. Afterwards, the remaining members of World Police began to dox members of the TG Moderation team, leading to the entire faction being banned. This would end the World Police conflicts, an unceremonious end to TG Earth's strongest faction who had once ruled the world. With World Police gone, one may presume that an era of peace would befall TG Earth, the members of the server thankful of their newfound liberty, free of the clutches of World Police, especially so on the infamous day of thanks, Thanksgiving. And you would be horribly wrong. On November 25th, 2020, a day before Thanksgiving, two representatives of Brazil, Aiden Swag and Sokane, traveled to Alaska to declare war. Unfortunately, the two became separated and were attacked by a player named Loomis Fire, who represented the Texas faction. Aiden was able to defeat Loomis, and was successfully able to reach Alaska, declaring war. However, upon declaring war, Brazil discovered that Alaska was allied with Texas, effectively declaring war on Texas itself. Brazil ended the war upon discovering this, but was still attacked by Texas by Loomis Fire, and later a large Texan army. In response, the next day on Thanksgiving, members of Brazil, the Kalmar Union, and Superiority, now allied with Brazil, raided Texas with invisibility potions, leading to some fighting. The initial battle in Texas was much more underwhelming than first planned by the allied factions, as most of Texas did not log on due to the plans of the raid being leaked. After this initial battle, however, Texas would return, fighting back hard against the Allied forces, especially against Brazil. The fighting, now dubbed the Thanksgiving War, came to an end when Texas signed a treaty with Superiority on December 1, 2020, stating that they would not make a warp near the Superiority faction that would enable them to easily raid Superiority. All factions backed down in response, and peace was achieved. Fighting died down, and the powerful factions of the server began to bunker down and stayed non-aggressive. TG Earth would remain this way for a while. Well, at least a couple days. Soon following the Thanksgiving War, Texas would launch a massive raid on the small faction of Madagascar, a faction made up entirely of refugees of those attempting to leave the spawn in Africa. After two consecutive raids on the 25th and 28th, Madagascar would collapse, with those who survived fleeing to the faraway faction of the Kalmar Union for safety. Upon reaching Kalmar, however, the Madagascarians would soon find themselves in the same predicament, as Kalmar was also being raided by Texas. After a failed defense against the Texans and new refugees causing issues for the faction, the Kalmar Union would, in practice, collapse. The faction still remained in name, but it was sparsely occupied and served as nothing more than a name for its future. December 13th, 2020, a faction in Ireland called the IRA was founded by a player Genetic Emu, 
and would begin to grow into a larger faction at the time. Not long after, Texas would create a warp near the faction of superiority, in direct violation of the treaty signed after the Thanksgiving War. In response, superiority would form the coalition, a group made up of superiority, the IRA, the Kalmar Union, Brazil, and Illinois, with the entire group declaring war on Texas. This new war, dubbed World War II, with the Thanksgiving War being redubbed to World War I, ended after some fighting and the fall of Texas. With the fall of Texas, TG Earth would once again experience an era of peace on the server. Again, for only a couple weeks. After the end of World War II and the fall of Texas, the coalition would fall apart, and now with faction superiority in Illinois no longer in alliance, Illinois would declare war on superiority. Not much is said to have actually come out of the war, but months later, superiority had occupied Illinois for a period of time, officially ending the war and spelling the end for Illinois. It is also within this period of time that Brazil would suddenly collapse and become abandoned. Not long after the war declaration with Illinois, however, the massive faction of superiority who claimed dominance over the server had gone inactive, along with Illinois. This was mainly due to the leader of the superiority faction, Nino BF, going inactive, taking a break from TG in general. Without the cruel steel fist of superiority, TG Earth was allowed to breathe, allowing new factions to pop up around the server. These factions, new and old, formed together to create the United Minecraft Nations, a group dedicated to connecting the factions around the world and maintaining peace among nations. This group was made up of almost every major and minor faction on the server, including the Kalmar Union, Congo, the Russian Empire, New Obomnium, the IRA, the NCR, Newfoundland, Catalonia, Serbia, Shreksland, and the VOC. However, unbeknownst to the group, the Kalmar Union was only in the group for the sole purpose of spying on them, for the good of the superiority faction. Besides this, however, once again, peace remained on TG Earth. And this time, it would last maybe a little longer. This peace would last for a couple months, from January to March, but it would soon come to an end. Back from the dead, Nino BF, leader of the superiority faction, had returned to TG Earth, and with him, he brought the full might of superiority. On the 16th of March, attacking at random, superiority raided several factions part of the United Minecraft Nations, including New Obomnium, Serbia, and the VOC. Learning of the dangers of superiority, the UMN hosted a meeting in Newfoundland to discuss the conflict, eventually declaring war on superiority. Not soon after, superiority was able to raid and completely occupy Newfoundland, shutting down the island from anyone who wanted to enter. Over the course of days, each faction part of the UMN was heavily raided or occupied. Fearing for their lives, the UMN had come up with a plan to build a bunker in the Pacific Ocean to bunker down and hide from superiority. This bunker, built out of stone and granite, named Zion, did not last long. As soon, superiority was able to quickly find and destroy the bunker, killing everyone inside. Retreating from yet another loss, the UMN created a new bunker named Perseverance off the coast of Japan that was much stronger than the previous bunker, made out of two layers of obsidian. Shortly after its construction, the UMN would launch a force in the superiority-occupied Newfoundland in a battle known as the Battle of Newfoundland. The battle was over in a minute, as superiority slaughtered the opposing force in seconds. Only one soldier was able to make it back to Perseverance. After several unsuccessful raids, superiority was finally able to break into the Perseverance bunker and once again massacred the UMN members inside. This would be the last battle of the war, as on March 29th, 2021, 12 days after the start of the war, the UMN was defeated by superiority. The UMN superiority war would be the final major war fought on TG Earth and would cement superiority as the dominant faction on the server. From the day World Police fell, to the day the server was shut down. The UMN would collapse after its loss, but would later be reorganized into the UMN Remnant, led by Lisfisk, who would continue raids on superiority. Unfortunately for the Remnant, however, superiority would remain unflinching for the rest of the server's life. For four more months, TG Earth would remain open, but due to low player counts and diminishing player interest, the server would eventually shut down on July 19th, 2021, alongside its sister server, TG Survival 1.16. In the waning days of TG Earth after the UMN Superiority War, TG Earth would have very low player counts, barely staying above zero on most days. 
The large size of the map matched with the lack of significant community built around the server due to the sheer power of both the world police within the first few days of the server and the superiority faction later in the server's life made for too big of a wall to break through when it came to forming a solid server. Unfortunately, no official TG Earth successor had ever been made, though a monument to it was built on TG Survival 1.17, named Orbis, constructed by Lisfisk, and a spin-off server to TG Earth was created by TG Earth player Thino. Despite this all, dozens if not hundreds of players who played on TG Earth continue to have fond memories of the server and sing its praises to this day. Despite it all, TG Earth did have many things to praise. The many wars and factions of the server made it by far one of the most different and unique official TGX servers launched in its history. It was the most well thought out and properly executed response to the controversy surrounding PvP Toggle and the more violent urges of the TG community. And as a player of it, I can say it was pretty damn fun. This has been Submodoge with the history of TGX, and I hope you can now say you now know the story of TG Earth.